what's up y'all dirty four door here uh probably gonna do a whole bunch today basically just gonna finish getting the front suspension back together so just need to go ahead and uh get the spindle back in uh mount the front calibers i might depending on how i feel take the back tires back off and mount the rear calibers since i have those i painted them like sort of like a dark blue color um kind of try to match these control arms and uh, also while I'm in there, just kind of go over and make sure everything is tight, uh, as tight as I can get it. So these are the front calibers. I'm just going to just throw some of that same paint I used uh, for the rear calibers since uh, I think these were like a Ford light blue. So and they've been on the car for about, I'd say like a year. So these are the spindles. Couldn't get the, the, the new hubs that I had bought. It, it was a little sloppy where the threads are for the axles so we just i just decided you know what well, we'll just stick with the old hubs since they're good had new bearings put in unfortunately the ones i got from ebay with the kit with the hubs were like the for the bigger brake size so i had it you know took me two more extra days just to run around and get it but it's all good uh ended up getting new ball joints pressed in um my buddy that did them said that one of them felt a little loose one went in pretty tight so he, he put like a little a uh, couple tack welds on the ball joints so that way they won't move around and especially when you're trying to you know remove stuff or tighten stuff you don't have the whole thing just spinning on you um he also went ahead and uh put these extended studs in for me so can't wait to see what that stuff looks like now the extended studs and everything i'm just going to spray paint them a little black as you can see a little gloss on it so just cleaned them up a little bit and just uh, I got both the calibers on, the brake pads, rotors, all that stuff. Uh, came out pretty good. I mean, wasn't looking for, you know, a car show winning award or anything like that. I just kind of wanted to clean it up. Um, obviously, get both the calibers to match. You'll see the, the rear end when I get that stuff on there. But just kind of want to give y'all an update and show y'all. So... Like I said, we've got the whole suspension and brakes, everything. This is what we're working on right now. So um, it's got new bearings in the front. Obviously, these are the 1320 extended studs. As you see, they got that little nipple. The ones in the in the rear are just like some cheap ones. So that you, you've seen them before. They they don't have that nipple. Um, obviously, just stock brakes uh, and rotors. So it's like I said, uh, then it was uh, like an OEM replacement lower control arm is what i ended up buying some of those aftermarket ones you see like with the colors um sometimes there's like a little i guess like a race that goes where the ball joint goes into and a lot of times that race will kind of move inside that arm and just kind of freely spin when you're trying to like loosen or maybe even tighten your your ball joint so i just went with an oem style replacement um came with the compliance arms and everything so those are brand new um so i ended up getting new compliance bushings for the rear back there um and then uh, i had some new control arm bolts that i went ahead and installed you got yonaka drag coilovers with megan upper control arms with the adjustable ball joints kind of wanted to try these where it has the four big nuts or bolts um, instead of like an allen head style so i went ahead and decided i'll try these plus i like the tubular look um these are brand new bolts it, arp nuts on only on the front um coilovers but so that's that's the front suspension the rear um just took the trailing arms out uh i'll give you all a better description i'll take the wheel off now I went ahead and put the brakes and all that stuff on, put the little like, stop squeak stuff on the on these new pads. Um, so the rear is just going to be used for like a stage brake. Um, the front is going to have, it's a sport front wheel drive setup. Where it's, uh, I got the booster delete, a Willwood master, and then it just tees off of that and goes to each caliber in the front. And then um, I actually, everybody is actually gone this weekend to H-Day, but... Last weekend, before everybody left, I had my buddy help me. Uh, we installed the stage brake uh, plate because it's kind of hard. I got to be under the car, and I had him help me go ahead. 
uh, and, and tighten these nuts while I was down at the bottom. Um, I got this from finishing lines. I got all their stuff, their lines for the rear and all that stuff. I think that was like 90 bucks or a hundred dollars for that little plate. But yeah, so I'm not really too concerned about running the lines and all that. I kind of wanted to, but I kind of want to clean up the bay a little more and paint that. So I just kind of want to see how things are going to go before I go crazy and start installing a bunch of stuff. But yeah, so when you guys seen last time, we put the trailing arms in. We got the new uh, trailing arm bushings that we had to obviously modify. Then um, we got the toe adjustment uh up in the front that's brand new with new bolts and nuts um these are blocks uh camber adjustment kit and obviously the yanaka new coils in the rear i think those toe arms that i got i think they're god speeds but they all look the same when you see them um and then these new control arms for the rear i didn't really need it but i figured since i was already kind of in here and i started replacing stuff then I was like, you know what, screw it. I really want to get a set of drags. I wanted the blocks ones, but these Yonakas I found on sale, I think they were like a little over 500. I think it was 525 delivered. So it wasn't too bad, but I went ahead and got a rear brake set up. So got the new rotors, got the new calibers. Obviously I'm not going to be running the parking brake cables and all that stuff. The stage brake that I have has like a little lever and I'll show you once I finally get that thing installed. It has like a little lever that flips over. So you pull it and you flip that over and it kind of locks it into place. So you kind of use the stage brake as your parking brake if need be. But yeah, I went ahead and, and got the Scarbird kit. So these trailing arms are actually drum trailing arms. It's pretty simple. You take everything off. And the only thing that I messed up on is I didn't clean where the backing plate stuff was. I had a lot of rust. And I think it's on this side. I ended up breaking one of the bolts off. Uh, I, the impact it just was just too too much torque, and, and it kind of kind of buckled the plate because the rust was there. And I was like, damn, why isn't this thing going on flush? Took it back off after I snapped it, and realized, okay, there's a shit ton of rust. Let me clean it up like an idiot. I was just so impatient. But yeah, we I went ahead and cleaned it up, and uh, now it's on there flat. I straightened out the plate, and uh. I seen a guy on uh, on YouTube. He, he did something where he said his caliper was like rubbing its rotor. I mean, the only thing that you hear there that's just the brake pads that are catching a little bit. But other than that, but yeah, we got new hubs, and I got lucky because my I was saying last time the inner bearing on the hubs was stuck onto there onto that like spindle, and uh, so we ended up knocking the uh, the new ones like out and then trying to stick it on the old one, and it really wasn't. You know working properly i mean it went on but it 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 didn't spin freely like that it was really tight and when i went to take it back apart to kind of check, check everything the old ones started coming back coming off finally and i just kind of tapped them a little bit with a flathead and a hammer and boom they were off so i was like cool you know so we went ahead and put the new uh bearing inside races back in and it works so kind of you know it, it works you know so i'm happy i'm happy about that but yeah, as you can see, like I said, I, I painted that, that caliber the same color blue. That's why I wanted to do the front one that way, you know, to kind of clean it up. I still don't know what kind of color I'm going to go with the car. Uh, this car used to be blue. I'll drop a photo in real quick from last year's Honda Day when we were there. Man, that car looks so good, man. It looks so good. And my buddy's like, oh, you should paint it blue again. And obviously that's just spray paint. Um, <laughs> but I really wanted a white. I really wanted to go white, but I don't know. I, I, I'm kind of sticking with my theme, my bronze slash gold, blue and black for right now. I'm um, not going to go too crazy out of that. But I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the other side together because I only got this side done. Put the wheel back on, uh, drop it down on these little dollies. Probably move the car back a little bit to get some more room. I found a little spot over there that I cleaned. And I want to be able to put my motor and my transmission in that little corner and tuck them away. Because I used to have them just sitting in the engine bay area. But, you know, once I can get this done that way. Because the suspension and the brake stuff basically is done except for the new brake lines. Uh, I, I want to get in here in this bay and start cleaning up. 
uh, kind of got everything hanging and zip tied up. I started taking some of the, the, the headlight wiring and all that stuff apart. Uh, so we can kind of just, just scuff this all up. So I can, you know, just put a little bit of paint in here, man, just to kind of clean it up a little bit. Um, we still got to get that welder and, and that fuel and stuff for that, the gas. It fixed this huge crack. And then where this bubblegum shit is. Uh, so we can weld the bracket in there. Uh, and get her nice and tight. I don't know exactly what I want to do. About a couple, couple little things. I'm still debating on that I keep looking at. But... I know for the most part I do want to get this bay like one solid color. The splatter paint stuff was like that when I bought the car. It's like, I don't know if y'all remember, but in the 1990s, like that was like the cool thing. I remember people that had escorts of Mustangs and they would do that to like all their, their trim pieces on their dash. But I do want to get my dash out, speaking of dashes, and paint this dash all black. I just put... It was orange, obviously, and I just kind of did a um, white and, and red and blue. Uh, that's just that, um, what's that? Classy dip uh, white shit. So uh, I started peeling it, but I want to get it out, scuff up that orange a little bit, paint it black. This car actually came out of like a Fast and Furious style uh, Honda. It was a, it was an EK, obviously. Um, it was it was all orange. It had a crazy body kit on a big wing, and it had air ride on it. And so basically, where you see the gauge holes was for the air ride. And I believe it was the old old school. So the four big holes at the bottom would be like the push buttons for air ride. So instead of like having a toggle switch where you see a lot of guys and they and they hit it and it opens up the solenoid for the valves, there used to be old school like quarter inch airline stuff. And it was just big push button stuff. And it was really, really slow. But that was like some of the first stuff, you know, that you could get. And uh, when, when Air Ride first started coming out, especially for the import scene, there was, you had like air, I guess the cans is what we used to call them. But they're like air struts. They're like bags on top of the struts. And they had the air cylinders. So it was like a big, huge silver can cylinder. Uh... And it just had, it was like, just put in the place where the strut is. But, but yeah, enough of that old school shit. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, like I said, get this stuff back together and, and get the other side done. Get it down these dollies. And uh, we'll see what we got from there.